hydrogen ions and acidity. So the self-ionization of water. So the reaction in which water molecules produces ions. We see we have H2O, which is a liquid. It breaks down into H plus and plus OH minus. So now a neutral solution will occur when we have the hydrogen ion concentration being equal to the hydroxide ion concentration which is right here. So everything's equal. Now, you could use for an acid H plus or H3O plus. They're interchangeable. Okay? So in a neutral solution, both are equal to 10 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. Right? And there's some equations we could use to figure this out. We have Kw equals the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. And I have this equation twice, just written with the H3O plus, not, and not H plus, even though it means the exact same thing. Now, if we have an acidic solution, the H plus will be greater than the OH minus, so the H plus will be greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. And if we have a basic solution, we're going to have H plus will be less than the OH minus concentration. So that means the H plus concentration will be less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. So we have an example here. If the H plus in a solution is 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, is this solution acidic, basic, or neutral? And what is the OH minus concentration of this solution? So what I would do is, I would calculate what my OH minus is first. So I know an equation that I have, I have H plus times the concentration of OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So I know my H plus concentration, so it's 1 times 10 to the negative 5th. I'm looking for my hydroxide ion concentration, so that will be my variable. So we know to get a variable by itself, we need to divide. So we're going to divide by 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. And we should get OH minus to be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative ninth molar. So now that's one part of our answer. So they want to know, is this solution acidic, basic, or neutral? So... I look at my H plus, and it's 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Because this is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative seventh molar, the solution is acidic. Now, a lot of people have heard about this already. I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about pH. The pH is the measure of the hydronium ion concentration in a solution. And the pH scale is based on numbers 0 to 14. If we have a pH less than 7, we have an acidic solution. That means the H3O plus or the H plus is greater than the OH minus. If it's equal to 7, it means it's neutral. So that means the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations are equal. And if we have... A basic solution, we're going to have a pH greater than 7. So that means the H3O plus is less than the hydroxide ion concentration. And here's a chart uh, relationships among H plus, OH minus, and pH. And some common household items with their pH values. And here are some formulas we can use to calculate pH, pOH, some concentrations as well. And we'll refer to these from the next two slides. So, first question. What is the pH of a solution with a hydrogen ion concentration of 4.2 times 10 to the negative 10th molar? So, we'll look at our equations here, our pH equations. So, you might have to use two equations for one problem here. So, what is, we want to figure out the pH. And we know, and like I said, we'll go back to that previous slide. So we have our hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 4.2 times 10 to the negative 10th mole. Now, if I look at any of these equations, I 
I'm going to use this equation right here. So it says pH is equal to the negative log of H plus. Or pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. Like I said before, it means the exact same thing. So we're going to use pH So I plug that in and I get my pH to be equal to around 9.38. Right in our calculator, we're gonna hit negative and then we're going to type in log, L-O-G. Make sure for exponents we're using E and not times 10 in the calculator. So our next example, it says the pH of an unknown solution is 6.35. What is the hydrogen ion concentration? So, I already know my pH, and I'm going to go back to this slide. I'm going to erase this. So, I want to calculate this, H3O+. Plus. or H plus. So we're going to use the anti-log. So this formula right here. So we're going to have H3O plus or H plus is equal to the anti-log of the pH. All right, so I plug this in the formula. So to type in the anti-log, we're going to second log And when we plug this in our calculator, we're going to we want to put second log. So it should be 10, and we should have a little ray. You should see this, and then you should have your little blinking cursor right here. So up here, what you're going to type in is going to be the negative pH. So it, and your calculator should read 10, 6.35, and our H plus should be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. In our equation, anti-log, negative pH. So that negative pH is going to be raised to 10. So once again, second log, and then the negative pH will give us our concentration.
Okay, now one more problem we got here. So what is the pH of a solution if the hydroxide ion concentration is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th molar? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to use two equations for this. So the first one I'm going to use, I'm going to use 1 times 10 to the negative 14th is equal to H3L plus times OH minus. So 1 times 10 to the negative 14th is equal to, we're looking for H3O plus, and we know 4 times 10 to the negative 11th is our hydroxide ion concentration. So now we need to divide both sides by 4 times 10 to the negative 11th. And our H3O plus concentration will be equal to 2.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. So we're almost there. Now we know our H3O plus concentration, so we could use pH is equal to negative log of 2.5 times 10 to the negative fourth, right? Because it's pH equals negative log of the H3O plus concentration. And pH will then equal 3.60. And this concludes our video on hydrogen ions and acidity.